Hello, thank you for joining me again tonight. Now, I'm going to start this video off by reiterating what the title says. Uh, thank you, ABPU and uh, AWPC. Uh, I've really enjoyed the times I've been able to lift with you. Uh, well, for the most part, uh, it's been the only federation that I've lifted with. It's been definitely been the one that I've lifted with the most. Uh, and uh, it's tough to say goodbye. Uh, so, you might be wondering why this is happening. Uh, well, oh, wait. When I started lifting, uh, I started lifting with the ABPU, and that was in uh, May 2021, just after uh, the lockdowns had all done and we'd done with all that rubbish stuff with Corona. Uh, and uh, I remember my first competition, uh, it's where I currently train now in Ultraflex and it was such a good atmosphere and uh, it really helped me in on powerlifting as a whole. And uh, I got my eight British records on that day and I spent months and months training and training and training tirelessly uh, to become British champion, European champion, uh, best lifter at those two events and become world champion the picking up as I meant by by the end of that year I'd got twelve uh, British records and uh, three seven world records not three yes uh, and uh, I spent that full year training raw and uh, up until uh, well after about eight months of competing I decided to compete with British powerlifting for the first time. Uh, now you may be wondering what the big differences are. Uh, British powerlifting are affiliated to the IPF and uh, ABP was affiliated to the AWPC. Now the IPF is sort of seen as the, the bigger federation and uh, pushing forward powerlifting into potentially becoming an Olympic sport and it's more professional and that uh, federation has more uh, competitors and it's where the bigger competition is. I think that's sort of like the phrase I'm looking for. And uh, the thrill uh, when I first competed uh, nationally uh, with British Powerlifting was the British Bench Press Championships. And it was the first time I had direct competition and I absolutely loved it. Even though there were, you know, I won and it wasn't really that close. I, you know, I didn't have to pull anything, uh, well, push on bench, uh, anything that I wasn't planning on doing. Uh, just the the feeling of uh, the competition and shaking people's hand on the podium knowing, I beat you. All these people come and I beat them, I'm, you know. Whereas with the ABPU, uh, with being a smaller federation, uh, I didn't quite get that. Uh, but anyway, I continued lifting with both, and uh, until recently, uh, I've had good competition in both. Like at the British Powerlifting's British Junior Championships, I, I beat eight people to become British Sub Junior Champion. That meant a lot, beating those eight people. With the ABPU uh, at their uh, British Full Power Championship, uh, it came down to the last deadlift, uh, as if uh, to see if I were going to win uh, or come second place. And uh, I've not had any direct competition since then, uh, but the thrill of knowing that I'm going to turn up, and I don't know uh, if uh, these people's going to have improved a lot, and that's in my category. Yeah, you know, there's double figures of people that's in my category, and uh, that's mainly the reason that's fueling my decision to have to stop lifting with the ABPU and the AWPC uh, to hopefully get picked to represent Team GB uh, at international IPF competitions. So you may be thinking, uh, hang on a minute, I'm lifting internationally. Uh, nationally with different federations I've just said I can't do that well the way it works 
is the IPF say that you cannot lift internationally with a, another feder. Sorry, sorry. To get picked for an international team with the IPF, you cannot lift for any other federation at all. Uh, but if you lift internationally with another federation, you can lift nationally with the IPF. And with watching the IPF uh, World Sub Juniors, uh, European Sub Juniors equipped and classic, and just seeing how many people there is battling for the world records, uh, world titles, European titles, uh, individual placements in separate lifts, uh, and just seeing it every single time coming down to uh, someone being bold and attempting the big deadlift uh, on the last attempt. Uh, it just adds such a thrill uh, to the event and I want to be a part of that. Uh, one thing fueling my decision to join the IPF uh, is knowing uh, that, you know, I will have beaten the best. You know, I, if I was to become a sub-junior champion of the world, I would be the undisputed best lifter on the planet, whether that be classic or equipped or both. Uh, but uh, one drawback with it, as I've said, I cannot lift with another federation, so it's been such a tough decision to make, uh, and this is part of the reason why I've had to take a break from YouTube while I decide uh, which to do going forward. Now, uh, I do not want this video to seem at all like I'm completely shooting down ABP, UAWPC, uh, or anything because they've got such uh, pros uh, that go with them like uh, the multiple equipment classes like I love competing classic raw with the knee wraps uh, I've been training for months and months to do a bomb squad uh, where I'll put the supercharged ram on with my bench shirt I want to compete multiplier I've got all the gear I spent th literally thousands of pounds on that gear but uh, that that's just some positive that the BPU, ABPU, uh, WPC, AWPC bring. Uh, there's a lot more freedom and a lot more classes to satisfy everyone. Uh, but with, like I said, more equipment classes, uh, there's less direct competition. It is really one of them, you, lo you win with some, you lose with other, and there's... Yeah, it'd be like... It's just so hard to get the perfect federation. Uh, but one more uh, pull factor to the IPF and British powerlifting is I can compete in the Open with them. Now what that means is I can compete against the men. Like with the ABPU, I cannot compete in the Open category. No teens can compete in the Open category, only juniors, uh, masters and people that obviously fall into that age category. Which... Uh, to me, don't make any sense, and uh, it really will be one of those things that could potentially uh, let me stay with uh, ABPU. But knowing that uh, I could beat the junior record, which is uh, like let's say the junior record on the squats two hundred kilos, and that you know I could go and beat that and have the junior record. So yeah. It's not more age categories are blocked off. It's sort of like the junior category is under 23, uh, the sub junior is under 18. Uh, all right, if a 14 year old goes and beats the junior record, which is under 23, why shouldn't he be able to have that record? It just sort of it just makes sense uh, with stuff like that. And uh, you know, entering the open back on that topic. Uh, I'd like to test myself against the best men uh, in Britain and potentially the world uh, just to try and prove uh, the level of competition that I'm at. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, like For example, at uh, the British Bench Press Championships, uh, I entered the Open and the Sub-Junior, winning the Sub-Junior and placing fifth uh, in the Open. Which, uh, again, just shows me uh, what level I'm at with my bench pressing. It shows me that I'm fifth best in the country uh, at this body weight. Uh, best at the age in the body weight, but as a body weight as a whole, fifth. Which, uh, again, uh, 
uh, goes into, uh, like I said, just how good of a sport powerlifting is and that there's always goals to be aiming for and striving for. So one thing that I've had to change with becoming IPF full time uh, is I'm streamlining the supplements that I take uh, just to 100% make sure they adhere to the WADA uh, drug testing list. Uh, more or less what I'm saying is I don't take epitachin anymore uh, because uh, myostatin inhibitors upon second research are banned by WADA uh, so n no point lying uh, stop taking them and uh, you know just you've, you've, you've got to keep the integrity of the records and the sport it is what it is uh, no equal competition everything's got to be fair it, that's just the way it is uh, but uh, as an overall message I'm looking forward to going uh, full IPF uh, seeing the stuff that it brings uh, and just saying thank you to ABPU and all the fun lifting uh, and uh, the atmosphere and uh, introducing me into the sport of powerlifting uh, I've thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed every minute being on platform with the ABPU, AWPC. Sadly, this means I won't get another crack at the Irish Pro, but hey, uh, is what it is. Uh, I still will be at ABPU events uh, and AWPC events uh, watching my dad because he's still uh, going to go forward and compete uh, with them, at least for the time being. Uh, he wants to focus on defending his British titles and world titles uh, that's completely his choice uh, nothing to do with me but uh, it's still a uh, bit of persuasion I might still be able to get some footage from them of him lifting and him hitting uh, his big lifts uh, just to show you how uh, how everything is and uh, all that so I'm going to thank you for joining me uh, on this second part of a three part weekend uh, tomorrow night uh, you'll have to tune in to see what that video is going to be so thank you ABPU and uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, a few videos of my top lifts from competing with them <laughs> Go, you've got it, guys. Bounce it, bounce it. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. You've got it. Come on. Come on. Big push. Big push. Go on. Big fight. Come on. Pull it out. Come on. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Oh!